I'm back today to complete the first session about a demonstration of wind impact on maneuvering of ships. And after uh, having in explained the drifting under wind and the ship motion on straight track, today we want to focus on the wind impact on turning motion. And if turning is not possible, maybe, anymore under wind, what is your options for increasing the turning capability of ships? And this, again, I will do with the wonderful fast time simulation tool for planning of ships, this time for only demonstrating wind effect. In the fast time planning module, I have set the ship to a certain position and it's uh, a cruise ship again with two engines, two rudders, both thrusters, stern thruster. And it's one of these ships which has leeward turning tendency. Um, but at first I would like to establish uh, some reference maneuvers. So for the time being, the engines are set to 30% ahead, which is uh, coming to a speed of about 6.2 knots. And this is the initial position, and here the ship would be after 340 seconds. And this will be the position where I start the turning maneuver. So I add a maneuvering point here, and I set the, end, the, the rudder to 35 degrees to port side. So this is 35 degrees, we need more shapes. So, yeah, this is 13 minutes. And we bring the ship forward to the, uh, the situation as we have it here, around here. So this is after uh, about 800 seconds the ship remains here. The ship is now only proceeding with 2.3 knots because of the high drift angle during the uh, turning motion. This is still without wind. And we want to set a maneuvering point here. So that we finally uh, come back to, the, uh, uh, to our position here and then we copy or we restore this. So we save the plan as an image into the ENC master cell. If we would uh, have the turning to the other side, so we would go re reverse the rudder to 30 to de 35 degrees, so to the port side, and then we also copy this. Uh, so we see two magenta graphs here, and this will be the reference uh, tracks for comparing this um, turning without wind, now under wind. And what we want to look for is um, for a wind, first we go with headwind. What would happen if we go with headwind? And I go for this reason back to our first position here. Wind from 90 degree. So we need a 90 degree, we set to 9-0 that we have headwind, enter. And the, the wind speed should be 30 knots. Three zero knots. Okay, so now we have set the wind, and what we immediately would see is um, from this position where we uh, activated the rudder to hard starboard, this would be the turning. Uh, it's not a turning, what we can see. And on the other hand, we need to proceed a little bit further because this was the reference position here. So we need to shift to have a true comparison. We need to bring the ship to the same reference position as we had before. So this is uh, the same position as we had before. So this is a turning uh, now from the same position with a rudder angle of 30 degrees, 35 degrees to starboard. What we would see is due to the wind pressure, the ship would not come to the same advance as we had before. And furthermore, 
we know already from our investigations on the straight track that the ship is not able to turn here. So we would need either a higher speed to increase the engines, for instance, to go for 30%, then we would see, okay, then we can finally make it, but still the advance is not as we had it before. Okay, we go back to 30. And uh, so we can store it also as a, as a reference uh, to have it in our <laughs> pictures in the final end. And then we could go for the same uh, minus uh, 35 degrees. I will make it on my computer. This is much more faster. So this would be the same to the other side because if it's really headwind, both tracks are symmetrical. Okay, and then we have it here. So this was with headwind. Now we need to go for stern wind. Uh, I go back to the first position here uh, because when we have to change the wind to seven zero from astern. What we would see is here that the ship speed has increased now to seven knots. So we are faster, so we have to move back the ship a little bit to our reference position. Uh, okay. Um, so this would be our position here. So this is the same position as we had before to compare the turning circle. This was our position where we initiate the turning. So what we clearly see, okay, the ship would have uh, due to the wind pressure from the aft, the ship would go a little bit further up. So this would be the, the, the situation that the ship cannot really be turned because this is already an equilibrium condition, the balance. So we would only be able to turn the ship if we go for, now first I would like to make a reference here again, safe plan and we have also the magenta line stored and uh, if we inc would increase the ship to 40% uh, of engine then we would see okay now the ship is able to be turned. Um, okay so we also could go to the other side to make it to minor to to plus 35, so the, uh, this is the reference to track to the other side, only to complete our picture, then we have all the mag magenta curve here. Okay, this was for stern wind, this was for headwind, and this is with no wind, our reference. Now we can go to beam wind, so we change our, um, we change our uh, wind conditions now uh, to come up with zero degree. So the wind come up from zero degree. So what we immediately see is the ship would drift in this direction. So uh, this means we have to establish already a straight track. So we have to go for changing the heading. Maybe that we need a heading of uh, not 90 degree, but 70 degree. Okay, so then we see, okay, the ship, the track is already the, there, but because we know the ship is leeward turning, we need also a rudder angle to port side um, to hold the ship against the wind. So this is 10 degrees and we are on the straight track. Uh, we need a bit, a little bit more, and I know it's around 11.11 11 half degree. So then we see, okay, this is our straight track under beam wind from north, and we need to adjust our position, our reference position, because the ship is now a little bit slower. Um, it's only six. So we need to move it a little bit forward as a reference position. Okay, and then we see uh, what happens um, with our um, 35 degree rudder to starboard. 
we see that the ship will go again on a straight track because it's above the conditions, equilibrium conditions on straight track. So this would be the situation for straight track. I, um, I do it, uh, I save it as a track. So we have the magenta line again. And uh, if we go to the other side, what would happen then? We go now to 35 degree to uh, starboard, uh, to port side. So then we see also the ship is not able to be turned there. Um, I make it also as a reference to save it here. And we know from our experiences before that if we increase the speed now, then maybe to the 40, then we see, okay, the ship would be able to turn very much faster. Um, the, the turning capability compared to the turning circle without wind, with no wind, is uh, not as good in the beginning. So we always have for both tracks a very much uh, a bigger advance. So the ship proceeds first in this direction. And this counts for beam wind for both tracks here and also for the stern wind conditions. So, because the ship is very stable in this uh, situation under wind direct, and I will come back, not today, but later on the stability issue uh, under wind impact. So, beam wind is a very stable uh, condition. So, it's, uh, in the beginning, it's hard to turn the ship because it's so stable. You need to, to really apply big rudder angles. So what we see here is it's increasing the speed. This would be, would be one option. Uh, the other is if we go back to 30 degrees and we are here, we could, uh, because if we increase the speed, then the ship is getting faster. If it's in a port and you're not allowed to do that, then you could maybe split the, the engines and to move with one engine ahead and the other is stern, so you see that you can really increase the turning capability of the vessel with one engine, no, with one propeller blowing into the rudder and the other one engine is going a little bit astern to keep the speed. So uh, either increasing the engine to kick ahead or if you don't want to accelerates the vessel, then you could split the engine as I did here and then you see, okay, it's nearly compared to in the beginning, very close to the um, turning circle with no wind. So this should be, I ought to say, uh, our final conclusion. So the comparison of turning circles with no wind, with turning, how to say, it's not a circle anymore as we see it, with turning um, capabilities with headwind, stern wind, and this is with beam wind.